theory of relativity is one of the most successful theory of physics. Till now there is not a single theory which can claim that the theory of relativity is wrong. But at early state of its discovery, lots of physicists were trying to criticize the theory of relativity. But thanks to Einstein that he gave an accurate answer to all the questions. Today I am going to tell you about one of those theories whose name is Zegnac effect. I told you guys in my previous video that if we have to prove the theory of relativity wrong, then we have to confirm the existence of ether. Following the same path, Georges Zegnac performed an experiment by which he had almost proved that the ether exists in our universe. But the difficulty was not only to confirm the ether but also to tell whether the ether is stationary in this universe or dragged by our earth. So let us first know what he did in this experiment and how would he confirm ether's existence. A beam of monochromatic light was emitted from a light source and allowed to fall on a half silver mirror which split the light into two beams and the beams are allowed to follow a closed path through number of reflections such that they follow the same path but in opposite directions. Both the beams meet at a half silver mirror and finally the light exits the ring and we get the interference pattern on the detector. Here the experiment was done at a rest frame. Now the same experiment is repeated again but in a rotating frame. Here results was quite different. The interference pattern was not same as that in the rest frame. Before knowing whether ether is in existence or not, you have to understand why we got a change in the interference pattern. When the apparatus was in the rest frame at that time, both the beams of light were simultaneously reaching the detector. But when we put the apparatus in rotating frame, we noticed that both the lights are reaching the detector at different time, due to which we got the different interference pattern. So here the time of arrival of both the lights are different. So we can say that their speed also must be different. But what happened in this frame that made a difference in speed of light? According to Segnac, it is the same ether which interact with the light and slowed it down. And by this experiment he also claimed that ether is relatively static. But the sad thing for Segnac was that one physicist named Michelson von Law had already explained this method with the help of general relativity two years before his experiment. According to him, the beam traveling around the loop in the direction of rotation will have farther to go than the beam traveling counter to the direction of rotation. Because during the period of travel, the mirrors and the detectors will all move slightly towards the counter rotating beam and away from the co-rotating beam. Consequently, the beams will reach the detector at slightly different times and slightly out of phase due to which he got a different interference fringes. But uh, this experiment make Einstein to notice that the principle of the constantency of light must be modified for accelerating frame of reference. So guys that's all for this video. Please subscribe my channel and help me to reach 400 subscribers as soon as possible. And also like this video and share this with your friends too. So at last, thank you for watching.